Today I have come up with a very important and interesting topic many of you could relate. Does alcohol help you to sleep? So most of the times from my uh, friends network and also from the clients I have heard that people use alcohol to go to bed. They mostly say that taking you know, just one or two drinks is going to help me to go to bed soon I know, and sleep well and have a very good night's sleep. And is it a myth or truth is what we are going to see in this video. See when you take a closer look it actually looks like when you take a alcohol you can actually relax better and go to sleep soon and just dodging all the negative thought process and it really looks like it helps. But I've seen from my clinical experience most of the times that people get dependent or even addicted to that alcohol and you may think that just one or two drinks what is the problem with, uh, you know which is going to happen. But it may not stop with the one or two drinks after all because after a point then the, what happens is your tolerance and withdrawal in syndrome sets in by which you would have heard about this tolerance. Let's say initially for you the one or two drinks was enough for you to go to sleep but later your, your brain would require even more amount of alcohol to get the same relaxation effect. So by this you start depending on the alcohol more and more. So I have started to give you the negative impact of alcohol but let's see the science behind how actually alcohol helps you to sleep. It's actually doing a very indirect effect. It may look like it is helping you but actually it is affecting the quality as well as the quantity of sleep. Because the, what actually happens when you have an alcohol is that you know that the CNS that is the central nervous system. Central nervous system is actually in charge of your thinking process, problem solving, memory, concentration and what alcohol does is it inhibits this central nervous system. So because of this you may get more relaxed and feeling like you are more uh, you know wanting to sleep and all that and the, actually the initial hours of the sleep you may not even wake up and you'll have a deep sleep. You may think that you're having a deep sleep in fact you are not. It's going to have an impact on your quality of the sleep which you can only understand the next day when you wake up. So it's very understandable that when you have too much of alcohol the next day you're going to feel groggy and you feel like you know irritable and you have this uh, hangover syndromes all this you would have heard about hangover symptoms and all that. But still even having a very mild to moderate it's not a problem but can we stop with that is the challenge. So alcohol is we would say that it is is it really medicinal because many of you also have this myth that is alcohol a medicinal. And I don't want to disclose a secret but I would say that mild and moderate is not a problem. The question and the challenge I already said is, is it possible to stay with that mild and moderate? Because let's say if you're so stressed, obviously all human beings we are all stressed and when especially in this uh, 2020s and all that after Covid our stress level is shot up. So because of which most of the times we are stressed due to various reasons let it be office issues or personal issues and various other issues and because of which we would think that I just want to forget everything let me have a drink and then go to sleep. So this is called a maladaptive coping method because the way you are going to cope up with stress we call it as adaptive and maladaptive methods and drinking alcohol is of course a not a right method it looks like it helping you but in the long run it is going to hurt you a lot let's see how it is going to harm your system and as well as harm your sleep uh, the quality of the sleep especially so when you take a closer look this alcohol has got a diuretic effect as well so from the medical point of perspective you have to urinate more often because of taking more amount of alcohols so because of which again your sleep quality is going to be affected which is commonsensical. You have thought about what REM sleep is that is ra rapid eye movement sleep. So in this rapid eye movement which is very important uh, actually the pace of sleep we would say in psychology this REM sleep is very important for restorative activity of the brain where our memory consolidates and our concentration also improves if you have a good REM sleep. But this alcohol has a negative impact and it reduces the REM sleep. So when you take alcohol, this REM sleep is actually compromised. So when, you, when there is going to be a less REM sleep, there is not going to be a restorative activity happening in your brain which leads to poor concentration, memory and all your cognitive functions are affected the very next day. You feel groggy, you feel lost and you may feel low all these problems you may feel and it can even the worst case scenario it can even lead to death. So this is the most negative impact the sleep can have on your REM sleep. The next thing it does is it affects your sleep rhythm that is your circadian rhythms. 
you know like whenever we want to wake up in the morning we generally don't depend on the alarm also when there is a very important uh, event we have to attend our circadian rhythms are the ones which gives you that alarm like you know five o'clock there need not be any alarm this is your biological alarm which is like you know in within your own brain which wakes you up exactly on time so whenever we take flights and all that the circadian rhythms may be affected because of jet lag because time cannot be you know the sense of time is lost and because of the alcohol intake the circadian rhythms are affected because once the alcohol you know starts to get the metabolization begins and also once the effect of the alcohol begins to fade out this is where our circadian rhythm starts to get affected so uh, th this is a major problem because our inner biological clock itself is going to be disrupted because of the same and the one last thing is about the sleep disorder um, i think you all must have heard about lot of sleep disorder like insomnia or sleep apnea or even somnambulism like sleep walking and nightmares all this are sleep related disorders and alcohol can definitely cause or even aggravate the existing sleep disorders so in long run it can cause insomnia because initial the first stage of sleep you're okay and you may not wake up but later during the morning like 4 o'clock 5 o'clock you feel like you have to wake up more often and it may have a very poor impact on your sleep as well as the dreams so you may have a very poor negative dreaming or vivid dreaming would say during this uh, kind of under the influence of alcohol so most of us are like you know intoxicated to believe that you know booze helps us to snooze but it's i would say it's a popular myth i'm again telling you if it is going to be mild and moderate not a problem many of you would think that okay i'm just going to take one or two drinks but as a psychologist i can tell you that it is there is a challenge because we are all human beings and we don't know when stress would have an important impact on our um, you know the quantity the, the we lose the influence on our own self we lose the control we have on ourselves we think that no i am much in control of myself but you don't really know what is the impact stress can do on your self control because it is all about body chemicals like you know the serotonin or a dopamine all these hormones are involved so you don't know it's not in your control anymore so especially when you're stressed because of any major life events like you know if you're grieving or even a loss of job or any such thing you may immediately resort to a shortcut that is alcohol now i'm just going to forget everything and and i'm just going to have a drink so this kind of you know mind giving you this vivid picture of this alcohol itself i would say is a major red flag because this actually spur the whole thing about alcohol dependence substance dependence slowly you may get dependent on the alcohol and you may lose control of it when alcohol is taken more than the moderate amount it's going to have all these negative consequences which i have discussed in this video so please be aware that this is not a reality that sleep real this alcohol really helps you to sleep it actually in fact disrupts your quality and quantity of sleep so just because this advice after this after this advice i don't expect you to change but then at least start thinking about the same line because after all health is very important and uh, you may be in your 20s 30s or 40s and you have long time to go and just imagine how this alcohol may have an influence on a very important aspect of your life that is sleep which is a major lifestyle if your sleep is disrupted you open the gate for many mental and physical health problems you invite all of it so it's very pertinent that we need to take care of our sleep by following proper sleep hygiene about which i've discussed in various other videos i would provide the link in the description so please do uh, take a look at it so to follow the proper sleep hygiene and also to cope with stress in an adaptive way and never to resort to any shortcuts or a maladaptive way to help you to go to sleep hope this video helps you to change your habit and it's very difficult again i have to register it's not very easy to change your habit but just think it as a starting point and please break this myth and come out of this harmful habit so all the very best for this change i'll catch you up at up in an interesting video take care bye